Hello there again. This lesson is about the Archimedean spiral. The Archimedean spiral is going to start off at the middle, at the center, and finish off at this outer diameter. So in this case, I've got an outer diameter of 130 millimeters, and there's no inner diameter. It's going to start off at the center. We'll see the difference in another question. So. I'm going to do a, a clockwise spiral starting from this line here and the Archimedean spiral is a point that goes one revolution as it travels that distance All right. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the distance it has to travel into 12 equal parts and I've already divided the circle into 12 equal parts so each step it does on the line it rotates one twelfth of a revolution on the circle. So divide the circle into 12 and then using the division of a line I'm going to divide the distance from the center to the outer diameter to 12 equal parts as well. Again I'm drawing a bit darker than I should because this, these are just construction lines but for you to easily see them. So 12, 12 equal parts on the division If you've forgotten about this, these divisions only have to be equal. Doesn't matter how wide they are, just equal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I need one other one. Don't forget that you were measuring 12 spaces, not 12 lines. If you start off, if you start off from here, number one, you get 13 lines. All right, so we're counting the number of spaces. So 12 equal spaces, then taking the, la the 12th division, connecting it to the center, and all of the other lines parallel. So you set the t-square to the first division, sorry, to the last division and the center and all the others should be done parallel. So I've divided the distance from here to here to 12 equal parts. Then all I have to do is, I'm starting off at the center, so the first one is at the center. That's where my Archimedean spiral is going to start. The second point is from the center to the first division. And I'm going to rotate the first division on the line to the first division on the circle. Opening up to the second division, I'm going to rotate that division to the second division, and so on. The points where these divisions meet going to the, the points I'm going to connect for the Archimedean spiral. So, so far I've got the center, I've got that point, that point, that point, and that point. I'm going a bit darker again than I should because these constructions should be very faint so you only see the Archimedean spiral in the end. These projection lines are very important that you draw them because if you skip one it's very easy to trace back to your mistake. The 11th one, 
and the twelfth one is where it started off with. So all I have to do now is freehand join those dots. And when I say freehand, you can use a flexi curve or French curves to help you draw a better curve. But it's still quite important that you draw, that you learn how to draw freehand curves. So that's the Archimedes spiral. Now if I wanted more than one revolution in that space, I wouldn't have divided this into 12, I would have divided into 24. So this division I divide into 24. If I wanted for example one and a half revolutions I would have divided it into 12 for one and 6 for another half, so 18 divisions. So depending on how many revolutions you want, you divide the line into that many revolutions, not the circle. The circle is always divided into 12. This was for one revolution, so I divided it into 12. Now, another instance is where you have the Archimedean spiral, which has an outer diameter, as in the first place, but also an inner diameter. Now, an inner, an inner diameter would mean that the spiral is not going to start from the center, it's going to start off from that inner diameter. A common mistake in this type of question is that the division of a line is not start is not worked out on this distance from the inner to the outer, but it is worked out, as in the first case, from the center to the outer. So you have to pay attention not to do that common mistake. So let's try another one. I'm going to start off from the top now, and I'm going to move anti-clockwise. The space the Archimedean spiral is going to travel is from here to here. So the division of a line should be done on that distance. That distance. You don't connect to the center, the center is not going to be used in this case. So one revolution again. or we can try this for one and a half revolutions just to see a different method so I'm going to need 18 divisions, one, two I'm going to check again that I've got 18 divisions because if not you realize in the end how many divisions you have you have to start all over, all over again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 divisions it's always a good idea to check your counting in this case I've got a horizontal line I was going to do the mistake I warned you not to do because I have to connect to that point not to the center alright so the last division to the end to where your Archimedean spiral is going to start not to the center as I was about to do So we're going to do one and a half revolutions. So I've divided the circle into 12, but the line in 18 divisions. So 
first point. That's my first point for the Archimedes button. Now, again, this is, I'm going to start from the center. And each division rotated to the next division. There. I'm moving this way because I want an, an anti-clockwise rotation. Second division. On the second line. So if everything goes according to plan, I'm going to get one revolution and I stop here and another half and it will stop here. So even if you stop midway by projecting these lines, you would know where to continue. Silly mistake. Have to get I could start turning the other way now because it's a shorter distance, but I'd like to keep it. the same direction so that the inner space is always empty so there you have the first revolution I'm making these dots a bit large as well so you can see and the 12th division would be there that's one revolution. For the other half, you just continue and start off again. So that's the twelfth. This is the first again. Another six divisions will get me to the outer diameter. So all you have to do now is join the dots. So as I did before, taking your wrist from the inner from the inner part of the curve, because your wrist gives you much better natural radius but freehand you learn how to do freehand curves without the use of French curves or flexi curves you do it much quicker but French curves and flexi curves give you a much neater curve All right. so you see I've done the constructions a bit dark so you can see and when you do that you lose your intended result which was the Archimedean spider so try to keep construction lines as faint as possible and your final result a bit darker using an HP pencil. Thanks. And please comment if you don't understand anything or you wish further clarification. Thank you.